So I'm at my job and I just had to chase somebody out the door because they stole a bunch of stuff. This is like, what, I don't know, the 100th and 1th time someone ran out the store with a bunch of belongings in their bag. You know, the fear of constantly being robbed or someone stealing from you or people threatening you with violence. Someone tried to start a fire in a store the other day. It's funny how like when I went overseas, people always said it's dangerous it's so dangerous oh my god you got to be so careful it's so dangerous none of this has ever happened when i was living overseas yes in developing countries that was like the least of your problems like people like store owners will literally leave their store completely open while they would go have lunch with their wife but here you have to constantly be scared of people stealing and it's not just the stealing like a couple of weeks ago someone got shot on the corner and there was a news article nearby where a mother had a 12-year-old throw acid in the face of another 12-year-old little girl. Like, it's just crazy how everyone thinks overseas or traveling is so unsafe and so dangerous. And I'm not saying that those countries don't have their problems. I am not saying there is utopia. They have their issues. But I feel less safe here than I did overseas. It's, it's crazy. I, like, I literally have to come to work in fear of getting robbed, fear of someone stealing, and now I have to be scared of someone starting fires in the store. Like, it's insane. And then when the store shuts down and people are going to complain that there's no jobs or there's nowhere for them to shop, there's all the stores here are shut down, the McDonald's and all the other restaurants, you can't even go inside because people are scared of getting robbed. Like, it's insane. And it's not even like, it's not even like the ghetto ghetto. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just, it's just crazy. It's insane. I have so much to say, like coming back home from living from living so much overseas. It's like the energy, the environment. I'm not saying everyone's like that. There's so many good people here and so many people here that are frustrated and just want to be heard. But it's, it's, it's crazy. We can't even have buggies without these long poles on it because people would just stuff a bunch of stuff on it and run out the store with them. We can't even have those little baskets. You know, those little baskets you have at the grocery store. We can't have those because people would just fill them up and then run out the store with them. It's like kids have to come in and get used to putting their backs to the side because they already know they're gonna be suspected of stealing because people steal so much. We have to put security tags on everything. If we have a pack of six socks, you have to put a security tag on every sock. Because if you don't put a security tag on every sock, then someone's gonna steal that one sock, there's no security tag on it. It's insane. I'm just like, it's frustrating. You have to like constantly see that. And before people say like, oh, people are struggling or people, need food and stuff like that they actually have a hiring issue here in detroit where people are like literally desperately trying to hire people and they no one wants to keep a job here and some of it is because they don't pay enough some of it i don't know why i don't know why people want to keep a job here i don't know how they pay their bills but sometimes they're stealing unnecessary things that they're just trying to sell and again when this store shut down it's like all the all the burger kings have shut down the kmarts are gone the walmarts are shutting down then no more, more no employment or no one has a local place to shop it's just sad